Tonight, tensions are soaring between the United States and China, with China summoning the US ambassador over American sanctions on Hong Kong. Donald Trump had signed the Hong Kong Autonomy Act, passed by US Congress, which stopped Hong Kong's special status under US law. This was to punish China for its, and this is what Trump said, for its oppressive actions against the people of Hong Kong, effectively ending its independence. This law gives my administration powerful new tools to hold responsible the individuals and the entities involved in extinguishing Hong Kong's freedom. We've all watched what happened. Not a good situation. Their freedom's been taken away, their rights have been taken away, and with it goes Hong Kong, in my opinion, because it will no longer be able to compete with free markets. China has now summoned the U.S. Ambassador Terry Branstead in protest and threatened retaliation. Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Zheng Zuguang said, I want to tell the United States that any bullying and injustice imposed on China by the U.S. will be resolutely countered by China. The United States' attempt to block China's development is doomed to failure. Adding to these tensions is Britain's announcement that it will join Australia and the US in banning leading Chinese company Huawei. As an indication of just how high tensions are now rising, Australia's defence experts are starting to warn about a conflict with China, an actual conflict. Here's what the former Deputy Secretary of Defence and now the Executive Director of ASPE, Peter Jennings, told me yesterday on this program. China is engaging in highly dangerous militaristic sort of pushing and probing around all its neighbours, Taiwan, Japan, South Korea and the, and the Southeast Asian countries. And um, the risk of that leading to a military exchange, a, a shooting of a, an aircraft out of the sky or a sinking of a ship, I think is actually high and probably higher than people realise. So it's a dangerous time and, and um, I, I think it's got a number of governments around the world seriously alarmed at what might take place um, in the second half of this year and moving into uh, 2021. And that is just an extraordinary warning about the possibility of a conflict in our region later this year or early next year, and one that would likely draw in Australia. And pandemic could very well turn out to be the least of our worries in 2020.